And perfect, you can hear us loud and clear. Perfect. So welcome to our 5K Your Way, Move Your Way session. We are back doing these sessions on the last Saturday of every month because life is gradually, not quite, but gradually going back to normal again. So people are doing different things on a Saturday morning. So it's great to be back here on what would be our normal 5K Your Way day. And I've got Rosie back with me today. Hi. <laughs> So we'll just do an introduction for those of you who don't know us. I'm Gemma Hill Moses, the founder of Move Charity and the co-founder of our 5K Away initiative. I'm also a cancer rehab instructor, which is why I'm delivering this session for you guys today. And I've got my lovely partner, Rosie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on again. Um, I am the Brighton and Hove uh, 5K Your Way Ambassador, a one-off, um, alongside Jeremy. Um, and I also work um, down here in Brighton and Hove on a programme called Brighter Outlook, um, which is a physical activity programme for anybody with a cancer diagnosis. So, um, yeah, I'm also a level four cancer rehab um, instructor as well. So thank you for having me. Yeah, so we're very lucky to have Rosie on with us. Um, Rosie was um, helping us last time as well. So I just want to do, before we get started, just want to say a couple of announcements that we've got from a 5K Away community perspective. So those of you who may have seen on Facebook, 5K, the 5K Away initiative actually turns two on when, no, Tuesday, Tuesday this week. <laughs> um, I think it was Tuesday. Um, so this is technically our 5K Away initiative second birthday. So unfortunately, we can't be celebrating it with our groups in person, but hopefully when we're all back together and all the groups are up and ready, we'll be able to have some sort of celebration. And um, then too. So happy birthday to us. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> that we're actually, you know, two years old and where those years have gone, I don't know. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, really good. Um, so we've also got a lot of groups taking part in a couple of our virtual challenges. And this is absolutely incredible. So most of you know we've done the Land's End to John O'Groats, and we've actually had um, lots of groups finish. And we've got some groups that are now working their way towards the finish line. So amazing work to everybody who's got involved in that. It's still not too late to get involved. So contact your group or contact us um, if you want to log your miles, whether that be walking, running, or just moving, that can go towards those challenges. Um, so it's really, really good. You can see the progress on the map that Georgie is keeping count of. Um, and also, on top of that, we're doing Round the World in 80 Days. And we've now clocked up over five digits in terms of 10,700 miles. Wow. Which is incredible. So everybody's putting their mileage down on the spreadsheet. It's being analysed and calculated. And now we're actually, we just crossed over from China, um, from China to Vietnam, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> cool. Wow. So we can't do it in person, but, you know, we can see those uh, <laughs> images of where we're travelling to. Um, so that's actually cool. so well done to everybody in our community that's getting involved in that. If you haven't heard about that, get in touch, you can get involved. And it's a great thing to be part of, just to help to keep you motivated, to keep moving um, during the week and at the weekends as well. Um, two last things. So we had a question and answer last week with our amazing ambassadors, Lizzie and Juliet. So that is on our website and on our Facebook page. They spent an hour talking to Lucy and Georgie around their experiences of having cancer and life beyond cancer and also their role as ambassadors. So check out that. That's a great listen. And also myself and Lucy were on the fight and uh, we're on the park run question and answer Facebook Live on when were we on it? When when no Wednesday night? I don't even know what day it is. Whatever day we were on this week. And it's on a recording. Um, so you guys can listen back to that. It was great to be involved in the full park run community. And as you guys know, 5K UA is a great part of um, that community. So that is my announcement. So you guys, I bet you'll be ready to get going. I'm just going to check our chat just to make sure everybody's on and listening okay. Um, let's check we're still here. Brilliant. So we've got a few, um, got a few hellos. So hi, everybody who said hello. So just a few safety points before I hand over to Rosie to get started with the warm up. This workout is not diagnosed, to, um, not diagnosed, not designed specifically for anybody's current health status, their diagnosis, their own goals and their own needs. So what I want you to do is be mindful that taking part in this exercise um, session or this move your way session is your responsibility. 
Do you need to miss out exercises that you've maybe been told not to do or that you don't feel comfortable in doing and just sit them out? And then when you um, want to, you can get ready and, and join back into the session. But it is a very low level movement session. So it's really functional movement. So hopefully everybody will be absolutely fine to get involved. Just slowly follow our technique, move from exercise to exercise, a little bit slower, just so you can find your rhythm and make sure it's safe for you. Um, so that's the safety point. Also make sure you've got a drink of water. Although it is a little bit cooler today, it's still pretty humid. So I'm quite getting quite hot now. So just make sure you have some water with you and take little stops um, to take it on the way as we go through the session. I think that's everything covered, Rosie? I think so, yeah. Just have fun. <laughs> cool, yeah, so have fun. And also, if you guys, we don't have any music because it interferes, but if you want to put some music on, it's Saturday morning. This is how you start the day, right? We want a bit of, we are doing exercise, we want a bit of movement and a bit of dancing. So <laughs> get some music on and let's start this Saturday morning really well. So enjoy, guys. Oh, let's pop. And um, also one last thing, I'm also doing the chair-based version. So we will have um, alternate between Rosie doing the normal um, kind of functional movement exercises and I'll be doing the same, but on a chair, just so you guys know. Okay. So yeah, choose the best option, choose whatever option works best for you. Um, but we're gonna start <laughs> by gradually raising up our heart rates, warming up our muscles. So join in when you're ready. We're just gonna start off with a nice gentle march. So alternate legs, standing up or sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Wonderful. So you can start to swing your arms here. <laughs> Tend you're off on a nice stroll. Warm up for the for the park run, 5k your way park run. <clears throat> Lovely. So we're aiming here to gradually get our heart rates up, ready for the main section of the workout. <clears throat> so keep breathing. What we're going to do here is gradually increase <clears throat> the height of our knees. So if you can, you can stay with the marching or bring your knees up a little bit higher. Good. You can slow it down or you can speed it up a little bit. Good. Good. Staying up nice and tall. Swinging your arms. And you can see Gemma's nice and controlled high knees in the chair. It's amazing what you can do in the chair, isn't it? It's actually really hard work, so don't underestimate chair based exercise. <laughs> Definitely. Good. So you should start to, your breathing rate should be a little bit higher now, which is good. So nice deep breaths. Okay, so what we're going to do is just some forward taps. So alternate feet, alternate legs, just tapping forward in front of you. Good. If you're standing, keep a slight bend in your supporting leg. Good. Keeping it nice and soft. Pointing the toe. Lovely. And then arms are just still swinging. And then what we're going to do is add in some arms. So keep down with the legs. And we're just going to bring the arms up in a bicep curl. Okay, so starting to warm up our arms. Our elbows are tucked right into our sides. And then we're just bringing our hands up towards our shoulders. Good. Wonderful. We're starting to feel the Feel a bit warmer now. Okay, so what we're going to do next is the same but out to the side. So we'll start off just with the legs. So tapping alternate legs right to left, just out to the side. So we're <coughs> warming up our hips here. So 
and remember to keep breathing. It's easy when you're concentrating to hold your breath, isn't it? Trying to breathe, it doesn't happen. <laughs> exactly. Lovely. And we've got a, I've got a nice gentle bend in my supporting leg. So keeping it nice and soft. Okay. And we're now just going to add in some arms. So our arms are going out to the side, just to shoulder height or lower if you prefer. Wonderful, keeping it up nice and tall still. And taking it at your own speed as well. I am so fatigued. <laughs> Good, okay, we're gonna now just go to the back. So my head's been cut off slightly. <laughs> at least you can see my feet. So we're just tapping backwards. <laughs> It depends what chair you've got, doesn't it? So forwards is still, it's still good. Okay. And then for this one, we're just going to do alternate arms forward in front of you. Again, just keeping it to shoulder height. Wonderful. Keep breathing. Remember to keep that bend in the supporting leg. Oh, I can't talk and do my coordination at once. <laughs> okay, this one's testing everybody. <laughs> it's like a brain brain workout. Doesn't matter which arm you do with the leg, it doesn't matter. Just do what feels right for you. Good. Okay. Right, we're gonna now move into some hamstring curls. So let's warm up the back of our legs. So again, if you, you show the guys that what you can do here is actually hold on to your chair and just do it with um, holding on to the chair it's a little bit slower than raising. Yeah, so yeah, using <laughs> using kind of a slight bend in your legs in between if you're standing, and what you're doing is just kicking your bottom up behind you. Lovely. So warming up the back of our legs. <clears throat> Keeping it nice and soft. Again, you can increase the speed a little bit if you wish. Or holding on to the chair for support. Wonderful. Hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmer now. <clears throat> Okay, our next one is going to be a bit more for our upper body, so I'll let Gemma sit down, <laughs> ready for the next one. Cool, and then we're just going to do some boxing. So really gently, remember this is still the warm up, so we're just waking up our <clears throat> upper body a bit more here. Just punching forwards straight out in front of you. So we're going to speed this up a bit later on. But at the moment, we're just waking up our, our body. So slightly <coughs> twisting <coughs> if you can, or just keeping it nice and straightforward. Engage your core. <coughs> and remember, keep breathing <laughs> and smiling. Even though you're punching something out, <laughs> keep that smile on your face. Good. What did you say, Gemma? It's pretty warm in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely sweating already. <laughs> right, and then the last one, let's just do some squats, some gentle, I say squats, at the moment we're just doing some gentle bends. So what we're doing here is our feet are hip width apart and we're just gently bending down. <clears throat> And on the chair, what you want to do is it's called a sit to stand. So you can use your hands to control and hold onto the chair as you sit down, and you can use your hands to push up. So that's the one way you can do it. So make sure your knees are facing forward. Don't let your knees drop in like that. Keep nice and strong. And if you want to progress that, you can just try and do it without 
holding onto the chair or just holding lightly onto the arms of the chair. Really good functional movement exercise, this one. Get nothing out of your chair. Brilliant. So if we're standing again, we're just a small bend here, knees over our toes or in the direction of our toes. We're going to be doing a few, few squats in today's session, aren't we? So you'll get lots of practice. <laughs> Good. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmer. I definitely am. What about you, Gemma? I need a window. <laughs> okay, let's just do some shoulder rolls. <clears throat> so squeezing your shoulders up and releasing them down. Really <laughs> wake up your shoulders, <clears throat> increase the mobility. Good, if you feel some crunching, that's okay. It should ease off as you do this. Wonderful. In my shoulders, so a lot of tension during the week, maybe when you're working or, um, yeah, a lot of tension in those shoulder areas. It's a really good one to loosen up there. Yeah, it's a lovely one to either start the day with or end the day with. Wonderful. Let's just do make sure our neck's nice and warm. So just looking to the right and then looking to the left. So this shouldn't hurt. Well, none of these, none of these exercises should hurt. So if they do, just ease off or stop. <clears throat> We're just looking one side to the other just to warm up our neck muscles. Wonderful. And facing forward, just going to quickly rotate our ankles just to make sure that they're warm. So you can either keep your foot on the floor and roll your ankle, hold on to something if you need to, or <clears throat> lifting it off if you're sat down in a chair or standing. The best way to when you sat down in a chair is just to lift your leg straight out in front of you because the chair supports the back of your knee, so um, if the chair's long enough. So just lifting that leg up in front of you, or like Rosie said, having it on the floor and just rotating. Cool. Switch sides if you haven't done so already. Um, and switch direction. Wonderful. Right, we should be feeling all warm and ready to start the main section. So. We've already done all of the exercises, but what we're going to do is just kind of increase the intensity a little bit more if, you, if you're if you up for it. So we're going to be getting our heart rate up a little bit more, or you can stay with the exercises that we've done in the warm up. But don't worry, I'll explain it all as we go. We're going to do 30 seconds of, of work, and then we're going to get 15 seconds where you can rest, get your breath back, grab a drink. Okay, so... Gemma's going to be doing all of them on the chair as well, so pick which option is best for you. Um, and what we're going to be starting off with, I'll just start off either marching, so as, as we did in the warm up, marching but a little bit faster, or if you're up for it, fast feet. So just light on your toes, fast feet, okay, or marching. So when we're ready, in three, two, one and off we go. So fast marching or fast feet. So really <clears throat> work your feet hard. <clears throat> and even if you're on the on the chair, you can still do this. Good. So fast feet, fast as you can. We've got 10 seconds left. So you're either here or you're marching. Pick which one is best for you. Good. Stay there and rest. Wonderful. The next one, rather than, you can either do high knees or elbow to knee or hand to knee. So what, however supple you're feeling and off we go. So bringing the knees up a little bit higher, keeping our chest up nice and tall <coughs> or we're, if you can, Elbow to knee. Wonderful. Keep breathing. Remember to engage your core muscles. Lovely. Speed it up or slow it down to suit you. 
and that's time rest it there get your breath back we're going back to our front taps with our bicep curls here in three two one and off you go so what we're doing here exactly the same as in the warm-up but if you can bend your leg slightly more so bending the supporting leg a little bit more <clears throat> good so really dig dig in deep and Gemma's doing the same but on the chair same as we did in the warm-up wonderful and stop it there 30 seconds goes quick doesn't it grab a rest take your Get your breath back and we're now doing side steps again just as we did in a warm-up but if you're up for it turn it into a jumping jack so off you go options here are side steps out to the side or you can jump keeping your knees nice and soft <coughs> arms to shoulder height or a little bit higher Wonderful. Deep breathing. You're doing great. And you're done there. Um, rest. Remember to grab a drink at any time. Grab a drink if you need to. And here we're going back to our back tap. So again, just as we did in the warm up. And off you go. So you can see my breathing rate is much more than it was in the warm-up i can still talk so that's what you should be aiming for and talk along talk along with us rather than behind okay so tapping out in front of you instead lovely so nice bend in your supporting leg and we're opening up the chest wonderful and rest it there Take deep breaths, use this rest time. Next one is our hamstring curls. So if you are on the chair, wonderful. So join in <coughs> with me when you're ready. So hamstring curls, and then what we're doing is our hands are just going forwards and backwards, unless you're holding onto the chair for support, that's fine. Nice big bend in between and then kicking your bottom up behind you. Good. Keep breathing. You're doing fantastic. And rest it there. We've got two more left. The next one was the boxing. If you remember from the warm up, exactly the same. Seeing if you can give it a little bit more, give it a little bit more welly. Off you go. So punching straight forward. Seeing if you can increase the, the speed or just punch out a little bit harder. Bring your arm right back in straight away. Good. You can speed it up, slow it down. Keep your knees soft. And it's exactly the same in the chair. Good. Keep breathing. And rest it there. We're on to our last exercise now, which everybody's favorites are onto our squats or sit to stands if you're on the chair so feet hip width apart bottom goes far back as it can knees are directly over our toes chest up nice and tall you push through your heels good so just go as low as you can <clears throat> same principles if you're on the chair <clears throat> Wonderful. Keep going. Keep breathing. We're nearly there. We've got three, two, one, and rest. Grab a drink if you need to. Is that raising? Well done, everybody. Your heart rate should be up. <laughs> yeah. and a little bit of sweat on you, but that's perfect. Great. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. So. I'm just checking the phone to make sure on Facebook everybody's okay, everybody's feeling, enjoying the session, enjoying it in. So thank you guys. Um, 
So I'm going to take you through, because we've done 25 minutes of that, which is amazing, so really great, building the foundations, functional movement exercises, raising the heart rate. So what I'm going to take you through now is some strength-based exercises. So we're not going to do too many, we're just going to touch on a couple, and they're usually a leg-based exercise followed by an arm-based exercise. But also, if you fancy it today, and you're feeling strong, but don't worry if you're not, the, you know, doing it without anything is, is hard enough. But grab two tins, because these can add not too much weight, just a little bit of weight for when we do things like going out to the side, or coming out to the front, or if you, we're not going to do this today, but bicep curls, there's great tools to use at home. So tins or, you know, your favorite bottles of champagne or beer or wine or gin, whatever you guys fancy, grab two of those. And if you fancy it and you're feeling stronger today, you can add these into your um, session that I'm going to do. So we're going to swap over. So Rosie's now going to do the chair-based exercise and I'm going to do it without a chair. So I'm just going to tilt this down slightly. Um, maybe not too much. It's quite hard to get this right. Um, so what we're going to start off with is 12 squats. So I'm just going to move my chair backwards. So we did warn that there'd be quite a lot of squatting exercises in this session. So we're just going to basically go down to that squatting position. And the aim here is not to go too low. You don't need to go really far down. It's just to squat down slightly and come back up. But you can see my knees are pointing over my second toe. So my feet are out slightly, so I'm going to go further back. My feet are pointed out slightly, but what we're not doing is this, okay? That is not what we want to do. Everything's nice and strong. We're going back onto our heels and just lifting up. So everybody got that? So we're going to do 12 of these, and Rosie's going to do the sit to stand exercise that we have been doing in the warm up, okay? So we're going to go. Oh, yeah. You lose my head. <laughs> No, it's fine. I think you're losing half a mind. It's hard to get it right. We're, we're going with it. Everybody's okay with that. So we're going to go. I'm going to sit up the side. You can see me in three, two, one. So it's a squat down, up, slow down, a little bit faster up, slowly down, a little bit faster up. Okay, so we're going to do 12 of these. Now, the challenge is for me to keep count while talking. <laughs> so good work, guys. So just Leaning backwards slightly. Remember, you have a chair behind you if you need to. We're on eight. That's good. So we've got four more to go. Really good work. We're just building the strength in our bottom. So we need to use this movement every single day when we get up and out chairs and beds and all sorts. So, right, last one. Oh, it still works with the sweat. Good, guys. Well done. Okay. So when you, if you want to, you can grab your tins. I'm just going to lift this up slightly. Grab your tins and we're going to do our lateral arm raises. So you did this in the warm-up. We just take it out to the side, back down again. Out to the side, back down. Good. You can feel your shoulder blades squeezing together at the back. And we're going to do 12 of these. So I think we're on about four now. Good. Five. Six, seven, eight, good. Nine. I'm getting time with you. Ten, I know, yeah. It's only going to keep count. Eleven, twelve, good. Okay, so we are going to go into, you can pop your tins down. We're going to go into the lunge position now. So if you haven't seen this, it doesn't usually happen, but just to make sure you can see my leg. So Rosie's going to show you on the chair, but if you don't have a chair, it adds a bit more instability and challenges you a little bit more. So what we want to do is have our legs wide apart, one in front of the other. And then what we do is we go down, we drop that knee down and back up again. So what doesn't happen is we don't do this. A lot of people make the mistake by leaning forward in a lunge, getting really unstable, but putting too much pressure on that knee. So imagine a pole is going through your head and it just needs to go straight down to the ground. You've got to pull that pole down and up. Remember, you don't have to go low, okay? You can just go down and up, down and up. And Rosie's basically doing exactly the same but holding on to that chair for support. And you can have two chairs either side if you need to or holding on to 
there's a person in the house if you've got somebody you can hold on to. Okay, so we're gonna go in three, two, one. Ready? One, two, two. We're gonna do six on each leg for this. Good. So I'm really not going down that low, but my body is still going straight down the middle. Really good, guys. Okay, last one. Then we're going to swap out the legs. Okay, so we'll give you a little bit of time to get in your position. And then we're just going to remember that cold going through the head, looking straight ahead, try not to look down, really squeeze the bottom to lift you up on this leg. Squeeze to get up. Good. I've lost count already, but I think we'll do three more just to make sure everyone's caught up before we move into the arm exercise. Good work, everybody. It's great to know you guys are doing this with us as well, so I'm relaxed. Good. I'm just going to lift my screen up slightly. We are going to go on to our wall press now. So Rosie will give a really good seated alternative to this. But this is the first stage of developing to be able to, it's a wall press, but it's a press up motion, okay? So absolutely perfect if you struggle with a press up or you struggle with doing a press up on your knees, but you want to improve your arm strength. So what a wall press is, is we stand basically next to a wall and we press against it and come back up again, okay? The further you stand away from the wall, the harder it is, okay? because you're asking your arms to take more of your body weight to be able to push you back up again, okay? So if you're new to this, I want you to stand pretty close to the wall and you're just going up and forward. Remember, just from a safety point of view, your head doesn't need to go too close to the wall, okay? So don't put it on the wall and scratch your nose. Keep it slightly away and you just push down and up, okay? So Rosie is doing the seated alternative with exactly the same movement. It pretty much explains it from what you can see, just pushing your arms in, forward and back. Okay? And really focus on, when you're pushing forward, really focus on kind of pushing away and squeezing your, your pecs, because that's doing the same <coughs> muscle groups. Yeah, okay. So we are just going to do eight of these, okay? We're going to go in three, two, one. Good. So remember, closer to the wall helps to make it a little bit easier further away, a little bit harder, because you have to hold more of your body weight as you're pushing back up. Good. Three more. And then we're going to move on to calf raises. Good. And last one. Good. Okay, so with calf raises, what we want to do here is you can hold onto the chair or you can do it. So for my position, I always want to hold on to something when I'm doing calf raises. So Rosie will do this sat down on the chair, but I could be holding onto a chair or the wall, okay? So this is just double leg, and all we do is push through the big toe, and we go up onto our tiptoes and back down again. Push through that big toe, lifting up onto our tiptoes and back down again, okay? So Rosie? So exactly the same, pushing onto your tiptoes. <laughs> it helps if your feet are kind of directly underneath your your knees rather than too far forward or too far back. So make sure they're under your knees and then you're pushing right up onto your toes. You can do both legs at the same time or you can do one leg at a time. Real. so we're just gonna do 10 of these, okay? So remember, don't lift too high if you're new to this. So if this is quite new for you, just a little, it's going up a little bit and back down. If you're used to this, you can go up a little bit higher onto those six toes. So we're going to do 10 of these. So three, two, one, let's go. One, good. Getting everything moving on a Saturday morning. I definitely already feel a lot better. So not everybody wants to be out of bed and ready for nine o'clock to come to one of our groups when they're back or you know to come and do the session. But I guarantee you to take the first step of getting here once you've finished it, you do feel a lot better and you feel a lot more ready for your day as well. So, a lot more energised. Good. So, we'll do two more just to make sure everyone's caught up. Good. And relax. So, what I want you to do now is if you've got your tins, grab your tins. If not, you can just do this body weight. And we're going to do our raises without to the front this time, okay? So, 
we're going to do 12 of these really, really good arm exercise. It's out different, no higher than shoulder level, feet standing in a your normal standing position and back down again. So stay exactly the same as seated, okay? So we're going to do 12 of these. Let's go in three, two, one, one, two, good. So just nice and steady. Three. If you are seated, just make sure that you're not kind of leant back on your chair. You're sitting up nice and tall and relaxing your shoulders down so they're not hunched up by your ears. So nice and relaxed down. And two more. One. Two, brilliant work guys. So we've just got one exercise left and then you're nearly done with your move your way session. So this one I call round the world, okay? So if you're standing, it's a little bit like the foot tap that Rosie was doing, but if you're standing, you bend the standing leg and then you take the other leg to tap forward, tap to the side, tap backwards, tap forwards again. So Rosie couldn't do this either sitting down, but also if you want to progress from sitting down, you can do it while holding a chair. Okay, so you can either challenge your balance and do it without holding a chair, or if you feel like you need that chair there to give you stability, okay. So we are gonna do three rounds of this, okay. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, bend that standing leg and we just go forward to the side, we're going diagonal actually, I missed that one out, back, good, forward, to the side, diagonal, back, should be able to feel that, but muscle working, so forward, last round, to the side, diagonal, and back, good, so just give those legs a little shake, flop over side, so I'm just going to move my chair, so here again, holding onto your chair, or you can just hold onto your hips if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. So we're going to go in three, two, one, forward, side, diagonal, back. I feel like I'm in a ballet class again. Forward, <laughs> side, <laughs> diagonal, and back. Good. Last one before we go to our warm down. Cool down, really good work, guys. Last one, brilliant. Okay, so just last two minutes, really good, really good strength session there. Hopefully, you've got your bone muscles activated, your thighs, your, your um, hamstrings, your arms, and we're all getting nice and strong. Okay, and your heart rate's going as well. So, we're just going to finish off with a really, really slow, just a little march, really, really slow, just to cool everything down and kind of tidy up and finish that session that you've been doing. So thank you so much for joining us today. We really enjoy doing these sessions and hopefully they benefit you guys and just bring everybody together to be doing some sort of movement and exercise on a Saturday morning. Okay, so if you can, you can either keep moving or you can stop, but just rotate those shoulders backwards. Oh, I love this exercise. So you can yeah. keep sitting on the spot or you can just rotate them backwards. Okay, and then just forwards. Good. Hopefully everyone's got a lovely Saturday planned, even if the weather's a little bit rainier. I went out for a run this morning and it was lovely running in the rain. So it doesn't stop you from doing things. Feel really nice or a nice day at home planned with your feet up, watching some TV. Lots of football back on now. <laughs> <laughs> for the men's liking okay so now what i want you to do is just take one arm we're going to stretch our shoulder and our um, tricep so one arm straight across the chest the other tucks underneath um, on top of the elbow and then you just rotate that round and you should be able to feel it down to your arm and also into your shoulder good okay and then just nicely swap over on the other side. Good. So just a couple more stretches to go before we finish. Okay. And what I want you to do now is we're just going to do a slow rotation of the hip. Okay. Really, really slow. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, just rotate side to side. Okay. A little bit harder for Rose to do on the chair. You can hold it onto the chair while doing it as well. 
you, you can either do it standing or you can kind of your rather than your hips moving your upper body just rotates and kind of draws a circle around your hips so you're just kind of using your upper body to draw a circle good okay and then if you can just finally i just want you to reach up as tall as you can and stretch that body up oh a nice big stretch on the back bring the arms round and then give yourself a round of applause everybody awesome awesome work today we hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Rosie, for being our um, ambassador and my co-instructor. Um, that was what the word oh, was. That, was, that was really good fun. Thank you. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. And we, I'm just going to quickly check the Facebook page, check everybody's OK. Um, hope you all enjoyed that, guys. Have an absolutely brilliant Saturday. Go make the day and enjoy it. And um, we will see you back in a month's time for our next by pay your way move your way session so you can all be all smug now because you've already done your done your exercise for the day <laughs> exactly right we'll love you and leave you guys see you guys soon any oh. comments or feedback top them on the comment box we appreciate it and we can tailor our exercise sessions for you guys as well so see you soon